Hi, I'm Sushmita. I work for UCCIM and I'm from the University of Texas, El Paso. I work with Dr. Jorge Gardea Torresdi in the area of environmental ecotoxicology of different nanoparticles. Yeah, basically I'm doing uh, the toxicological study of two different nanoparticles in plant-microbe interaction and it will help us to know what are the fate and transport of these nanoparticles in the environment and in long term like uh, soil fertility and crop fertility management because these are related, this particular system is related to nitrogen fixation. So I'm seeing what are the negative impacts and short term and long term. So nitrogen fixation is a biochemical process uh, where two uh, symbiotic association organism is a plant and a bacterium. They live together in the soil and the bacteria help to fix the atmospheric nitrogen and whereas the plant provide the food source for this entire process and that's why they get mutually benefit from each other and thereby the soil fertility increase in terms of nitrogen content. And this is very important in terms of soil fertility management because anything happened to this particular system is definitely in long term will affect the global nitrogen cycle. First of all, my research last year we published where we found this zinc oxide is really toxic but recently I'm doing a study in the plant and we found nanoparticles in different parts of the plant including the nodule where the main nitrogen fixation going on and we got a very nice imaging with our collaboration and I'm trying to publish very soon. Uh, this is really important because uh, first of all when something foreign to the environment it is very important to know what are their fate and transport and it's already been proven that nanoparticles are toxic. So I'm working in the plant bacterium interaction and a particular system nitrogen fixation. In long term it will help the decision makers to make uh, like rules and policies for the better and safer handling of the nanomaterials and we will know what are the fate and transport. So in long term it's really helpful to know also the nitrogen fixation and what will be the effect on total global nitrogen cycling. Uh, everything depends on how you manage time. First of all, I'm really thankful to the group of Dr. Jorge Gardea Torresti. They are very, very cooperative and helpful. And secondly, I'm very much focused. Thank to my husband, always be so supportive. And I love to do work. And I love to do many other stuff. And I manage really time very well because I'm very much focused that I have to come back at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock and I have to take care of my baby. So I do everything. I, you can say it's multitasking. But I love to do it.